Fifteen years ago, Gore Verbinski made a really fantastic psychological horror movie called The Ring. It was one of those movies that made Gore Verbinski a really good director of psychological horror. But it's been 15 years and we've still been waiting for a psychological horror movie from him. But finally, in 2017, he set out to make another psychological horror movie, which is called A Cure for Wellness. Now, since he made a psychological horror movie 15 years ago, is this one any good? Well, let's talk about it. The movie follows Dane DeHaan as Mr. Lockhart, a young, ambitious executive who is a part of a multi-million dollar company. However, the entire company is about to go into an upcoming merger. So in order to do that, they need to find the company's CEO, located at a very peaceful but mysterious wellness center located in the Swiss Alps. So the board sends Dane DeHaan to go find the CEO. What may seem like a simple a task ends up becoming a disaster, because as he goes to the wellness center, he gets into a major car accident. And the next thing you know, he wakes up in the wellness center as the wellness center's new patient. And when Dane DeHaan is in the wellness center, he suspects that something's not right going in the wellness center. As he goes along, he discovers the Institute's dark, eerie secrets. So it's up to Mr. Lockhart to not only find the CEO, but to solve the Institute's dark mystery and to make it out of the wellness center alive. So what did I think of the movie, you ask? Well, I actually really like this movie. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really had a good time with it. Despite how incredibly disturbing this movie is. First of all, we'll start off with the performances. Because the acting, I think, is outstanding in the movie. One of my favorite performances in this movie was Dane DeHaan as Mr. Lockhart. Now, if I'm being honest, Dane DeHaan is a really good actor. He was really excellent in Chronicle, but despite how incredibly terrible he was in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, he manages to redeem himself in this movie. But perhaps my favorite performance of the entire movie is Jason Isaacs. Jason Isaacs freaking nailed his role. He basically plays the director of the mental institution, and I thought his character was really good. I thought he was intimidating, and he also pulls off a really good German accent. I mean, come on, give this guy some credit. He was Lucius Malfoy from Harry Potter and the bad guy in the Patriot. Dude's awesome. What I really admire of this movie is its haunting cinematography. Aside from the few things that Gore Verbinski is really known for, like costume design, production design, visual effects, all of which are really good in this movie, the cinematography is what really strikes me the most. You get beautiful cinematography of landscapes in the wellness center. One of my favorite cinematic shots in the movie. Even though it was briefly seen in the movie, but it was in the trailer. And that was the girl floating in the water just circling around. And basically if you look at it for a solid minute, you're like, yeah, that's creepy. Because Gore Verbinski really uses a great, fantastic sense of dread. As soon as bad stuff hits the fan, it really does get into some dangerous territory. Now, is this movie perfect? Well, no, nah, it's not. I guess the movie was a bit slow towards the beginning, you know, kind of building up to the whole mystery of the movie. My biggest problem with the movie mainly has to do with the script. I mean, not to say that the script is terrible. I mean, I really like the story in this, but there are a lot of moments that are just kind of predictable. You can solve the film's twists within an hour 45 in a two hour and 26 minute movie. But despite how predictable some scenes can be, I was still along for the ride because mainly I was only concerned about the aftermath of the movie. How much Mr. Lockhart has changed? How was his sanity tested? You know, that kind of thing. So in the end, I actually really enjoyed A Cure for Wellness. Is it a movie for everybody? No, it's not. But I think what I actually got in the movie was just a really solid mystery movie. So for that, I give a cure for wellness. A three and a half out of five. Even if you didn't like this movie, it's way better than watching a film that will make Gore Verbinski roll in his would-be grave. All right, guys, that is my review of A Cure for Wellness. Comment below, let me know what you thought about the movie. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or Prime Mission Me on YouTube. And also, be sure to subscribe for more. My name is Luke Newcomb, and you have been blown away. Yeah.